Well, this is not good. It's a draw. This has never happened. Hmm. What about the tall one? Can we ask her to help break this tie? Good idea, Froda. Tall one, sit by the hayside if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear. We shall play in the river tomorrow. Aye. Now, the next matter for our owling. <clears throat> we need a name for our merry band. The choices are Raiders of the Cake or the Shadow Dragons. Stools on the hate side are for Raiders of the Cake and side with the sacks of beans for Shadow Dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. It is final. From now on, we are the Shadow Dragons. A fitting name for future warriors. Now to our next vote. <clears throat> what should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up. Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote! It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. The seats have spoken. We will take the prisoner for questioning. The badge of wisdom shall be awarded to those who voted for this. You too, tall one. Remember, the more you know of your enemy, the better. Do not let any opportunity to learn more of them escape you. Froda, you had better be writing these words of wisdom down. Thanks for the help, tall one. The next generation inspires confidence. Snottinghamshire is in good hands. Perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me! Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's skilled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I'll flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? Absolutely. Good. If you enjoyed my flighting, you'll be thrilled by what else a skilled mouth can do.
Man, þegar hann kom hérna með heri sín. Fullóður. Seg sveinunum að gæta sauða vel, flokkurinn er að verða svangur. Sjá! Sjá! Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Friends, fear me. I am mind fucked. Once a anger, now a dragger. A walking dead. Rotten in and without. Fuck. Greetings. Is this battlefield yours? This is the gutter of an unchained Drenger. A lost Drenger. That is what I am. I am vile. I should not be allowed to suck on clean air. A Drenger kills honorably, with glory and pride. Were these men not innocent? Many of them were. Many were not. <laughs> Their blood is now mingled and it stinks of the iron of my blades. <laughs> what an end! <sighs> Beloved Ragnar Lothbrok. He always kept me in check. He steadied the ship of my hooger. Without him, I have lost my bearings. <laughs> I scare myself. Not a shred of decency remains. The dragon I was, I have lost him. Would you end this suffering? For me. You live with a great pain. One that cannot be eased by a Virgilt, nor a reckoning. Yes, you know my pain. And you look as though you could end it. <laughs> Do this then. A final kindness for an unworthy wretch. Lord Stringer, I will fight you and help you find what Ragnar gave you. Loki's children, take me one and all! <laughs> Meet your God. You have lands to me, Nakvila, the fetid boy. Let this death be the only good I have done. My master's death. Odin welcomes all kinds, so long as they war louder and drink faster than the last man.
Anomaly number nine. Feeling okay? Any adverse effects? I'm a little tired. That's about all. Why? You expecting something worse? Expecting the unexpected. It's hard to fully trust these things. I'll be careful.
that one. That one eye flesh. He has taken our son, imprisoned him for the invented crimes, and locked him away. And you said he was left. Do you not remember his threat? You should have been more careful. Have we no power to stop him? To save our son? Learn of us? Is that a risk you want to take? I must do something. Anything.
father's down there looking for treasure. That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean, he drowned? <laughs> Where is the rest of your family? Mother got sick and never got better, and now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to yond. Your father would wish that. <laughs> this world is hard, and the gods care not. about this land, my friend. No, use that stone, Eivor. Use the large one, there. Do you like the snow, Sigurd? I suppose. I... I accept it. I love it. I wish it could gather under my skin, surround my bones, and cloak me in silence, just the way it quiets the land. Snow like arrows? The Skaldin you speaks. 
I admit it does calm me down some. If everyone sat and watched the soft, chunky snow fall and said nothing, nothing at all, we would all be happier. Snow makes for a poor plowing bed. That's what I know. What? 